and you they're saying you steal the movie and so it's a good oh. time for you because you also just celebrated your uh, eighth is it eighth eighth anniversary right eighth the wedding th anniversary with Melanie and right. uh, where's the here. <laughs> Did you, just, did you just, is it coming up or did you just celebrate it? No, we celebrated actually in Cannes. We were in Cannes this uh -huh. year, so. And, and what is eight? What, what, do you know what that is? Is it uh, Eight yeah. uh, is the years that we've been officially married. Yes. No, I know, but you know how they have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is eight? Um, <laughs> it's a deeper question. Um, eight is, because you know, there's like, there's uh, bronze and, and uh, wood and uh, aluminum oh. and uh, hair. I, I, think. I, I don't know. know. <laughs> No, but it's true. In Spain, yeah. 15 years in Spain is flowers. Flowers? Flowers. Oh, you get off easy. And then you go to 25, that is uh, silver, and 50 is um, gold. And right. Uh, something like that. Yes, it's something like that. So uh -huh. eight is something. Yeah. Is it bronze? Eight is good. It's, it's uh, good. Eight is good. <laughs> and what did y'all do to celebrate it? We were there in the Hotel du Cap. Uh-huh. Beautifully paid by DreamWorks. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but we were celebrating actually there in the middle of the promotion that we were doing for, for Oh, Shrek that's nice. Movies. That's great. It was well, a beautiful hotel in the, in the Riviera, in French, French Riviera. Mm -hmm. actually, so. Well, that's, that's very romantic. It is. Actually. Did you kiss? We did. <laughs> More than um, that. <laughs> now, and, and how do you deal with, uh, is, it, is it crazy? Because the paparazzi, from what I see, I've never been there. It looks like it's insane press there. This is like a 5,000 paparazzi. That's very difficult to overcome. <laughs> and do they follow e everywhere you go? Do you get bothered? Is that just, or is that your life all the time? Y you get paparazzi everywhere because the hotel uh, has certain restrictions, mm -hmm. you know, but, uh, but it's open to the beach too, so uh -huh. some paparazzi, they make it to the beach. And, and but we, don't, we don't hide anymore, and, you know. Those years of hiding and running from yeah. them, they are past. We, we had a very, very strong two years at the beginning of our relationship. They were really, really bad. Yeah. I can tell you stories that are unbelievable. You know, tell you know. us. Really? You want to know? Yes. Some of them are dramatic. Yes. Some of them are dramatic. Yeah. You know that there were uh, paparazzi in Spain, they were um, breaking Coca-Cola bottles, and they, they were just throwing the, the glass in my garden. So if somebody in the family gets uh, hurt and we have to take that person to the hospital, they have a story. And uh, so, so the situation like that, I, my, my garbage has been stolen for years, just in case that they find some document, yeah. whatever, they can make a story out of this. Yeah. The telephones have been tapped, especially the cell phones. They uh -huh. have computers and they can do that. That's crazy. So, yeah, it's crazy. When, when Melanie was pregnant, actually, the day that the, the, the Estela was born, my, my little baby, we had to take uh, Melanie to the house of my neighbor, neighbor through a huge fence with uh, a ladder, with two cops, taking her to the other house, because there were 150 paparazzi uh, out there that were going to stop the car. So the situations like that, I have lived uh, a lot of those during my How life. How do you get a pregnant woman up a ladder? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing how she's climbing. I mean, with your kind of money, couldn't you build a hoist or something? <laughs> couldn't you get like a little elevator that you... You do it in a uh, comedy mood. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's impossible, yeah. actually. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I've, had, I've had some of that stuff happen that it right. really is. They just go to great lengths to try to get We stuff. don't care anymore, actually. Yeah. You know? I heard that you actually will tell... You just dress in the same outfit so it looks like it's the same day they're shooting? Well, we do, yeah, when we do, when we go to Spain for mm -hmm. summertime, we just use the same bathing suit for the whole entire summer. So the first day we are in Marbella, we just uh, make an appointment, we made an appointment with the press, they come, and we say to them, you see this bathing suit? This is gonna be the whole summer. So you make the picture now, and you make it two months from now, it's gonna be the same picture. So we try to do this type of things. But can't they, with what they can do with pictures now, just paint on a new bathing suit on you? They, and oh, they can paint yeah. anything that you want. Yeah. I, I was actually in the cover of, uh, a famous magazine in America, naked, and it was not my body, actually. <laughs> Fortunately, the guy was very well weaponed. Yeah. Uh, it could have been more dramatic, you know, but um, I get away with that one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to take that out of the frame. I thought it was you. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be back, we'll be right back. Well, and how's the show? The show looks really great, it's and you're so adorable on it. Yeah. It's so much fun. Every week I, I get so excited to read the next episode and find out what it's going to be about. And they're, it, the show is just so lovely. I get to be like a dream matchmaker and a dream lawyer and help people, and it's fun. Yeah. No, you play. It's, it's a great, fun character, and, and it is good writing. Now, are you, are you, is this based on your life? Are you good at matching people up? Or? Not so much. No. <laughs> Do you try to match people up? I tr I've tried a lot, and I gave up for a while because I felt like, you know, every time somebody would say to me, can you set me up, they, my mind would go blank. You know, I would just immediately have no idea who 
could ever be right for that person really? at all. <laughs> well, and, um, but lately I've decided because I have two friends that I love very much that um, both I'm just going to really make it my focus. I'm going to try and get in touch with my character a little bit more and uh, make it my focus to find them somebody. That's my goal. Well, what about each other? They're well, not one of them's gay. One's gay. Yeah, and, and one's an like older guy. He's uh -huh. like 40. Oh, I see. And then, the, and then the girl's young and spunky and cute and friendly, but they just, I don't think they'd be right for each other. No? Well, he's, he's not interested in women. And she likes boys. Yeah. <laughs> he's a boy. He's a boy. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they, you know, if you run out of resources, though, they should just try it. Maybe. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Um, now, do you, you think Jeff and Melissa are going to make it? What do you feel about that? that he's so cute. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. Jeff is so adorable. I, I hope people see through his little, he just gets nervous and he does that little thing. <laughs> at, so I'm cute. like, Jeff, stop it. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's not, you know. He's very cute. He's not a Russell Crowe by any means, but he's. Uh, no, but he's very handsome. I know. He's adorable. I love Jeff, and I hope they make it. Now, your boyfriend that is, uh, because you know, I do research on, on, on every, I stayed up studying you all night really? long. Yeah. <laughs> what did um, you find? And sketching you, and uh, <laughs> but um, you, <laughs> your boyfriend, which I don't understand, he's, he's in a neo-punk band. What is neo-punk? I don't know. <laughs> No idea. I didn't know he was in a neo punk band. You didn't know that? <laughs> no. Is he? In, is he? He's in a band. Yeah, he's in a band. And is it? Is it punk at all? Uh, definitely punk. Punk. punk I mean, punk. I don't really know what punk is. I know that I'm told it's punk. Mm hmm And it's loud, and there's lots of screaming, and it's really, really um, one. I and I like it a lot. It's mm -hmm. really great music. But I don't know that. I don't know what. You know, I don't. I'm not a music nerd, so I don't know uh -huh. like. What? No, I mean, I love music, but you right. know, like, I don't know the technical... They, people say they sound like, um... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> you don't do it. It's all on the camera. <laughs> You've been with this guy four years, and you can't describe his music? <laughs> he is it's so proud of you music. right now. It's great music. It's great music. Yeah. I want to see them. Do they play around here? Yeah, they're on tour with Marilyn Manson right now. They're on tour with Marilyn Manson. They're punk. Well, Marilyn Ma Manson isn't punk, well, is he? I would think that that's kind of punk, Marilyn Manson. Yeah, it's punkish. Yeah. I think it's more rock. I don't know. I don't know what it is either. I'm, I'm more, I'm the, I'm the R&B girl, you know? I like nice. that kind of old school R&B. I mean, I like all kinds of music, but, uh, so we'll, we'll check them out next time we, uh, we go see Marilyn Manson, all of us. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Now, were you a big Scooby-Doo fan growing up? Is that why you were uh, driven to do these movies, or? Driven, yes. Um, no, I was, I was a fan, and I watched it. I think I watched it more as an adult, just for the nostalgia of it, but my mm -hmm. husband had every episode ever done on tape in our basement. Fr Freddie Prince Jr. is your husband. That'd in be case my man. You, in case you don't, that's your man. <laughs> um, who, uh, that's what he looks like, in case you forgot. You were gone for three months. Okay, so he's a huge fan. Yes, big fan. Yeah, and, and you learned everything about Scooby-Doo from him? Pretty much. He sat me down and we watched about 48 hours worth straight of Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out why they run and they never get anywhere. St still yeah. working that one out. <coughs> I'm like, but they don't go anywhere. Do you ever, they just keep going. It's now the same now you're freaking me out. You're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. It makes right. you wonder how they ever solved a mystery because right. they never went anywhere. No, it's, it, you're absolutely right. And or how they fall off the cliff and there's just a poof of smoke and then they get up again. At, well, I do that at home sometimes. I mean, really? That I'm working on. <laughs> I'm working that one out. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you filmed the first Scooby-Doo in Australia. Yes. And the second uh, Scooby-Doo 2, as in I like to say. Scooby-Doo-Doo. Do? I call it Scooby-Doo-Doo. I like Scooby-Doo-Doo. Scooby-Doo-Doo. Yeah. How do you say two in uh, Japanese? Ni. Scooby-Doo ni. She was trying to trip me up there. You know, she's going to see how well I know Japanese. Uh -huh. <laughs> you do. You know it very well. Yeah, All right, there. so you sh shot the second one in Canada. Yes. And, uh, and what was that like? You liked that? It was cold. Vancouver, you come from sunny Australia and you go to very cold, rainy Vancouver, but uh, we rented this house and it's so funny when you go on these locations, like you, I finished Buffy on April 16th and I had to be in Canada April 17th. So I didn't have time to find a place to live for seven months. So they basically, they find you these houses and they show us these pictures. It's got this beautiful pool and like the living room, this heated pool, but the house was, you ever see the movie, The Money Pit? Yes. Yeah, that was this house. The movie was actually modeled after this house. Really? Yeah. <laughs> If you ever think of putting a pool in your living room, don't do it. Yeah. It, it leaks <laughs> and drips and it's hot. And this house had this heated pool with no air conditioning in the house and it was all windows. 
Yeah. Well, the, all of it sounds bad to have a pool in the living room. Yeah, it just, it's, it's not smart. And then you have too much sake and you come home one night, you think it's the couch, boy, you've drowned. Before you know it, yeah. you're in the drink. Oh. It's crazy. Well, we won't do it. No. And the literal ending of the house was the roof finally just caved in at the end. Oh, well, yeah. don't go back to, to no. that house. So if you're going to Vancouver, don't rent my house. Uh, uh, or any house that has a pool in it. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, and Scooby-Doo uh, Knee or Scooby-Doo De or Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed opens in theaters this Friday. Brad Paisley is going to perform right after this. Don't go away. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> so the first time I ever saw you was you were on... Uh, Johnny Carson. Mm -hmm. You were on Johnny Carson, and uh -huh. you were doing the seat recline on the airplane. Uh -huh. um, comfortable, uncomfortable. Uh, comfortable, uncomfortable. Or die, yeah. not, you know, dead, not dead. Live, the, die. Live, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I remember I was just hooked from then on. That was wow. the first time. Thanks. That was a long time I ago. Re I remember it. It was like mid late 80s, mm -hmm. but I remember it like the back of my hand. You must have been like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 77, but uh -huh. I always watched late night talk shows, and it was just about one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, seriously, because so, that was a long time ago. So I remember it very, very very well. Good comedy sensing at that age. <laughs> yeah. Which, Very funny family. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Your family's funny? Yes. I don't believe this, but I'm going to ask you anyway, and even if you tell me this, I'm not going to believe you. I read that you started speaking at four months old. And a half. No, you didn't. I do, I swear. You can't speak at four and a half months. So, I... so they told me. Oh, who told you? My whole entire family. So Evidently, said... the first word was bubble. Bubble? Bubble, but I wasn't communicating with people till six months. Mm -hmm. But I remember when I was about six months. you weren't communicating months. till six months? <laughs> <laughs> what, like, what kind of communication uh, at six months? Like paragraphs and conversations and things. No, and you were not. <laughs> <laughs> and I... <laughs> You know, you know, paragraphs and, and, and sentences. Do you, do you know who Dakota Fanning is? Yes, Dakota Fanning, the little actress. Yes. yes. Okay, who's my co-star in Uptown Girls. She's the, she's the only other person I've met. She started speaking at five months old. Which no, she didn't. She did. I believe it. No, and she's brilliant. I love Dakota, and she's brilliant, but again, a liar like you. <laughs> I'm sorry that Ellen is doing yeah. this to you on national television, Murphy yeah. Clan. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd be glad to have your family on and hear from them and give them lie detector tests. I, I never wanted to be that type of show, but I'm going to give lie detector tests. <laughs> the lie detector. Yeah, <laughs> right. It'll be a new segment. All right. Um, oh, that's priceless. Yeah. So, but I do remember. I do remember up to six months. Mm -hmm. But evidently, I was. Well, you're not going to believe any of this anyway, so what's the point? What's your first memory, supposedly? What? Alleg my alleged first memory? Uh huh. Uh, being, I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, so I was being in the apartment in Georgia with my mom. Um, At what age? And playing. Well, we left there. So I was so young when we left Georgia. So that was probably before a year. Mm -hmm. But I was in school and I was reading it too. I I'm terrible at math. And I wasn't walking to like two, three. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to I want to talk about uh, because before I even met you we we spent Thanksgiving together at, at the the Zappa's yes, house. Yes, we did. But and I had never met you. But before that, uh, I walked up to you at a store because I always walk up to anyone with a dog and go, "What a cute dog!" and start talking. You had the cutest dog with yeah. you, which I think we and his name is Wink because he only has. Ah! Uh, <laughs> A Disney it, dog or what? He only ha he has one eye, and uh, I saw him in the store, and I was like, "Oh, your dog is adorable." Yeah, and I had, I actually she was a stray, um, and someone brought her into the Lang Foundation, amazing no kill uh, foundation that really seems to specialize in misfit dogs. Uh huh. Um, so his eye was missing when you found him. No, but I thought he was cuter that way. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we, <laughs> Amit likes to make up yeah. things about how it happened. Snowboarding accident. Or <laughs> Lou Reed put a cigarette out. Clumsy jerk. Uh -huh. You know, I don't know. Some <laughs> things like that, but it's but, not and, true. And what a happy dog he is. And you found so him from the Lang Foundation. Lang Foundation. So, amazing yep. dog adoption place. And she's great. Not, not a bedwetter. Um, happy. Doesn't cost a lot to feed her. Great. And how's the dog? <laughs> really um, trying to sell her. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, Freak. Now, so you're, uh, go, go save a dog. Go adopt That's a dog. What I'm That's what to I say. say. Yes. 
All right, so Hellboys in theaters everywhere, and Adam Mesh joins me right after this. I am so happy to meet you, and I know you don't do this a lot, so people, there's like a mystery around you. You're not, you don't do these things a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of like a groundhog. I only come out yeah. like, uh, it's like once a year, and instead of seeing my shadow, I see you. Oh, well that's, <laughs> I'm so flattered I know, okay. that you came out to see me. Well, thank you. That's great. So, uh, do people, because you do really look exactly alike. You look like you're still like four years old. Uh, yeah. How, yeah. yeah. Yeah, how can a person look too much like himself? Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. It's a curse and a blessing. Like, it, yeah, yeah. the same face. Is it? I mean, do people... Oh. Oh. <laughs> so people, rec like, always recognize you. Yeah, again, it's kind of a curse and a blessing. You right. Know. Uh, you know, I can get to any restaurant I want without a reservation, but while I'm there, everyone's staring at me. Right. Know? And all going, oh. Yeah, like, like the that. Because okay. <laughs> you do. You seem still, like, very young. Oh. Do you, when you think of all those movies, when you think of Home Alone, I mean, do you remember all of it, or is it just has been shown so much that you think you remember it? Um, I mean, yes and no. Uh, um, uh, I don't really watch them all that m often. Uh -huh. like, uh, we did like a 15 year anniversary like DVD commentary and like I realized I hadn't seen it like in like 15 years, you know, whereas Chris Columbus, he'd watch it the night before, like a responsible human being, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's kind of just kind of, uh, it's background radiation at Christmas time kind of thing and you know, I've had people who want to sit down and watch it with me, which is like both flattering and creepy. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and like, yeah, I mean, uh, when I'm watching it, I'm seeing like, I'm remembering that day on set, you know, like, oh, how I was, you know, hiding my Pepsi behind the couch or something like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. So you do I remember I can't it. Watch, I can't watch it the same way other people do. Yeah, I was going to say, so when it comes on, which it comes on, I'm sure every Christmas, every Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. it, you, you don't watch it. No, not really. And no. you don't go out of the house during that time. Yes, I it's, definitely don't. Yeah. It's, it's my season. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's <laughs> Macaulay season. Yes, it's Macaulay. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's Macaulay season. So, uh, yeah, I try to go out like less and less around and, that time and of year. I would imagine, and this would, if, if I were you, it would drive me insane. Do people come up to you and want you to put do your hands on thing? your face? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. my God. What it's, do you say to them? <laughs> he's like, no, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> And now, how long have you lived there? About uh, a little over seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and how did you discover that? Road trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I might have been a little drunk the first uh -huh. night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the people were so incredibly helpful getting me home <laughs> that I just felt, wow, if I can be alone here and, and wind up at home, uh -huh. um, everything was still intact. Uh -huh. you know, like, um, I, I felt like this was a good place for me to live. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it is. Yeah, it, it, it really is. I used to perform there, and it's such a great music town. And it's... they love performers. Anything with the arts, they're like the greatest audience to perform for. Yeah, yeah. and it, and it's just a beautiful city. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. A lot of water, and lot... it doesn't Hill feel like Texas. Country. No, it doesn't. It's there's got a, water. I don't mean that in a bad way, but yeah. it just doesn't feel like, you know. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I'm not going to mess with Texas. <laughs> don't. Uh, no, I, I'm saying it feels like it's it could be uh, anywhere. Yeah, whereas it's, it's most really Texas green. cities feel like Texas. Yeah. yeah. Which it, is and it's in a wonderful way. <laughs> I used to live in Texas. All right, so, and, and how does this work? Because Dennis Quaid was on the show mm -hmm. and, and he bought your bed. Yes, he did. How'd that happen? Uh, not quite the way you'd think it would. Um, how do you, I, I how bought, do you think I think? Well, I don't know. It's right. that when you shifted your eyes a little bit when you yeah. said <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought a bed, and it just didn't work um, in the house with the scheme of the house. Uh -huh. um, and I just didn't want it in the house. I didn't want to sleep in it. And mm -hmm. he came. He was in town, and uh, we have a mutual friend. And he said, well, I hear you have a bed. I said, yes, I do. Hey, I said, come on over. And then what did he, he say? Said, he said, I will. <laughs> and he came, and I opened the door, and I said, come on in. And, and then... he said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I took him into my bedroom, uh -huh. um, showed him the bed. He liked it, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he took it home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, that's how it happens in Austin. Uh huh. <laughs> See, in Dallas or Houston, it might have been a whole totally, different scenario. Totally different story. To, yeah, it's so totally down home in Austin. It sure is. You're keeping it real. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> So, and, oh and you're on the cover of, uh, look at you, on the cover of InStyle and Vogue. Yeah. That's a big deal. I'm looking at it without showing you. Um. <laughs> Woo! Woo you. And yeah. this is what I want to know, because uh, uh -huh. my question to you, yeah. oh, you fell down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got very <laughs> sleepy yeah. there. You and got, when I, I just went, uh-huh. Oh, oh. Like yeah, that. that's how everyone lays on the couch like that. Yeah. 
But so we met, I was remembering, because we've met, the first time we met was at, uh, at a gym. Yes, that's true. Speaking of eating cookies. Right. And, uh, and do you still work out at that gym? No, I don't. Me either. Do you? Do you? <laughs> I work out at home. Do you? Mm -hmm. Do that's you? That's good. No, I don't. I, I run a lot now, but I'm just, I'm kind of. Do you? Yeah. Just in the neighborhood? Um, well, yeah. Yeah. Why are you so secretive? I, I mean, <laughs> if you're running, but I'm not secretive. They're just yep. sometimes people take pictures of me while I'm running. It's embarrassing. Oh. You're like, oh. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. and that's an embarrassing time. Well, if you're that. running that way, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, and I'm not even commenting. I don't know why, because I just looked at this picture before you came out that you have uh, with your lovely husband Reese. Uh, and he's not your husband. <laughs> You're, you're Reese, aren't you? Yes, that's my his, name. His name is, uh, is, uh... Ryan. Ryan. Yes. <laughs> did, did you know that we've been off all summer? I heard that. Um, so, um, so Ryan, yes. I yes. know his name, Philippe, right? Yes. Okay. Philippi. Um, Philippi. Philippi. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, all right, so, <laughs> so you're, but the reason I, I, I brought up all the wrong information is because um, your hair is dark and I'm used to seeing you blonde and all of a sudden I didn't even comment on that. It's confusing, yeah. Um, but, yeah. But it, you're, what, are you an, uh, a blonde naturally? I'm naturally a blonde. I dye my hair uh, brown to do this movie. I'm, I'm right now I'm just finishing up Walk the Line, which is the Johnny Cash story, and I'm playing his wife, June Carter Cash. You are? That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Shelby Lynn's in that, right? Yeah, Shelby yeah. Lynn. You know Shelby? Yeah, yeah, she's great. Yeah, Shelby's playing. Uh, Johnny's she mom. Shelby Lynn is, is playing Johnny's mama. Yes, she's yeah. amazing. As, as a young girl, not Johnny's mama now. Right. It's weird. We're back with Freddie Prinze Jr. And that's a clip from. Is that tomorrow's night? Tomorrow night's episode? Yeah, that's uh, tomorrow night's episode. The first half of, of the hour is is me on on George, and the second half of the hour is George on on us. And we just thought it. You know, they don't do that anymore on TV shows. Uh -huh. and back in the old days, like, you would see, like, Laverne and Shirley do a crossover, like, Happy Days and things like that. Yeah. We just had to find a, a realistic way to do it. So the kid who plays his son and, and, and the girl who plays my niece on the show meet online, and we both think the other person is, a, is like, an online predator. Mm -hmm. So we set up stings to, to bust each other, and it all goes, <laughs> it goes badly. So that's, that's how great. we worked it out. And this is, uh, this is a picture of you and your uh, lovely wife, Michelle, uh, and, uh, and now, Michelle, uh, Sarah Michelle, Sarah sorry. Michelle. You can I, call I, her Michelle. I call her Michelle. Um, Sarah, <laughs> you, she didn't tell you to call her Michelle? She's always told me well, that. Well, you know, we, we, we just met, so. Well, I okay, <laughs> yeah. No, she and I go way back. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now, you play a chef on the show, mm -hmm. and uh, does that mean that you actually, didn't you go to culinary school I did, as well? I, I'm a culinary dropout. Um, <laughs> But but that's a good thing for her, right? It's that means good for you her. Cook. She eats, yeah. So uh -huh. I get to feed her. She doesn't she doesn't cook much. Really? She's, done, she's cooked uh, three meals in six years. <laughs> and so what does she cook? Like what is, does she? She made me a beef brisket, which I think her mom made. Uh huh. And <laughs> she made me stuffed chicken, which I think her mom made. Uh huh. And she made me egg drop soup from a bag, which I know she made. Uh huh. Um, you know, here's the Japanese thing I want to learn before you go. Speaking of food, since it's a food-themed show today, what do they yell when you walk in a sushi restaurant? I always think it's a vida or something. They, they welcome. It's not Alfie. Insane, what is it? They're they're welcome. It's it's basically welcome to my shop. I've I've been learning for six months. Language is oh. like a big deal for our family. I speak mm -hmm. uh, Spanish and Italian, and and my mom was very passionate about just culture in general. So I, one of my friends is a sushi chef, and he's unbelievable. And I hated not knowing what him and his friends were saying because we play cards, and I always think they're cheating. And uh, <laughs> so I've been studying for for like six months now. So I can teach you a few things and a few poker terms. But other than that, I, oh. I can't. I can't help. No, you. I just want to yell back at them when I walk in the uh, the, the sushi place. So just say 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 arigato. Uh, thank them yeah. for coming in, arigato. and then say uh, say genki desu which is basically how are you. It's a formal way of saying it. So genki say, desu ka. Genki desu ka. That's good. You genki desu ka. And then they'll say. It, that's good. It sounds rude, but no, uh, it's good. It's good. Oh yeah, well, genki desu ka. That, but uh, no, no, they say. Yeah. No, nah, it's good. All right. Uh, all right. Now, you know, the thing is, it gets very dirty. People are walking around there. We sent Houston over there uh, to see. Look, I think that's you getting your star right there. Oh, my right goodness, there. it is. Yeah, but well, that was a couple of weeks ago. You look at how happy you are, but that can get very dirty. I look like I'm going to vomit. Uh, 
I think I was too. Yeah. I was so like such a ball of nerves. I actually kissed the star, and I have. I don't think I'm like, you know, Howard Hughes germaphobe or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I do think about that stuff, and well, I thought, kiss it now because you'll kiss. It. You'll be able to look. We have somebody there in a while that's keeping it clean. Be so kissable. We actually have Houston there making sure that. See, nobody can walk around it. <laughs> He's making sure. Look at that. You can kiss it whenever you want. He's oh, keeping it very clean. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's because it could get dirty otherwise. Oh yeah. 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 We don't do that for everybody. The bottom. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, as if it wasn't <laughs> overwhelming enough. Now. Yeah. yeah. I know I'm gonna like start crying. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't cry. I will, okay. Don't cry. Um, you have been. I cry about a lot though. I'm I, a very emotional person. All the time. A lot. Me too. Yeah. I do. You cry at corny commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just cry like I, sometimes I'll just be like, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, and like, or I'm just like, this person was walking down the street and they just looked, I don't know, lonely. And I was just thinking, are they lonely? And oh, I don't know. I get the same yeah. way. I, people are laughing at us, but I feel the same way. I, <laughs> I cry so easily. I, so easily. It's, I, that's why I just stay home and just don't open windows and don't. I just <laughs> because I just will. If I'm exposed to anything, I'll cry. Yes. Yeah. I'm it's, with you. It's, I'll come over if that's okay. We'll yeah. Just and just cry. Yeah. I saw I saw this earlier today, um, and it made me want to cry. This this is you. Watch. What? Where? Watch. Poor baby, I wish I knew some magic. Bake the magic. Open the door to a wonderful show. With Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies. Bake the magic of pop and fresh dough. Hot chocolate chips have a magical way. They can even make you smile on a cold rainy day. That's making things better. You can make magic, you know. We did. With the magic of pop and fresh dough. weird like elephant like memory ironic for this film um, considering I lose my memory every right. day um, but um, it actually chose elephants as a theme for my character because they do have such stupendous memory yes they do um, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they said you know you have to eat the cookies all day long all day long uh. <laughs> I remember being so sick from eating all these cookies and I remember we were, my mom and I were like driving away from the shoot and this woman chased us down like there was like we had forgotten like our child or something like screaming wait down the street and we rolled down the window <laughs> and uh, she handed us a big roll of cookie dough oh. <laughs> and I was like <laughs> and it's weird, I've never liked sweets as an adult. I think that might have something to do with it. Oh, that's a good thing to know. So yeah. you can start force feeding your kid cookies <laughs> and they won't eat them when they get older. Somebody should have done that with macaroni and cheese with me. Oh, really? I love, I love it. I love the pizza. We yeah. have so much in common. I know. All right. We cry and yeah. we love bread and cheese. We, and we love carbohydrates. Oh, oh. Just stick them on. The two C's. Yeah. All right. Uh, we, have to, uh, we have to go away and then Adam Sandler's going to join us. Okay. When we, uh, we'll be right back. Finally. That's see, and that's, uh, you, and of course you're going to hear it. I'm not going to let you off the hook. When I was starting the show two years ago, I ran into him at a restaurant and uh, he said, who's your first guest? And I said, you. And he said, seriously, I said, I would love you to be my first guest. N it would not return phone calls, uh -huh. would not come on. <laughs> Oh, and in the restaurant. I just bought a cell phone. I, huh? just, I, just, I, have a, I just bought a new cell phone. Uh-huh, that's no, what no, it no, is? No, no, but here's what it is. No, here's what it is. What? I thought tonight was the first show. Somebody, uh -huh. I, the whole hostage thing, postage yeah. thing. Uh-huh. All right, who here knew that stamps are now 37 cents? You guys know that? Oh, please. I, I know that you don't know that. Come on. Well. Did you know? No. Me neither. No. I don't, but, and I don't email either. I don't know how I Heart's correspond. Heart's like a rabbit, though, from that. From that the hostage situation? Thing. Yeah, I don't hostage situation. Y yeah, you're still <laughs> out of breath. That's so adorable. Big. You have had some big people in this. Can I interview you for a minute? Yes, go ahead. I was so intimidated walking down the hallway and seeing all the big, you know, celebs and stuff. Yeah, most people have wanted to do it. I wanted to do. It. <laughs> 
So glad wouldn't I do it. Me. Wouldn't do it. No, no. Didn't not like a, I'm a longtime friend it, or anything how like that. How lame is it, though, to come on a show and not have a movie? Come on, have a movie coming out now. So. I don't think people care so much about the movie as they want to get to know you, Bruce Willis. What? Yes, yes. Who, who's the real man? Let's get to know the real Bruce. Yeah. The real Bruce. <laughs> I mean, I'd we, like we see the tough guy image, the sexy guy with all the chicks and everything, but who are you really without all that? Well, I'm still trying to find out. I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh -huh. um, well, I, you know who I am? I'm just a, I, I, you know what? Didn't have a Valentine yesterday. Oh, no. Got one. Hold on. <laughs> it's a happy ending to the story. <laughs> I, had a I finally got a Valentine about 4 p.m. yesterday. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. From who? No, no, not God a Valentine. Actually, had a real living human being Valentine. Oh, I see. So it was a happy ending. To you the were story. looking for someone everywhere. By 4 I had a big sign on with PCH. Uh -huh, right, poor guy. We'll give you candy and yeah. joy. For, uh huh. To be well, my what's lucky is that I know that. First of all, I think you're. It's a great thing. I was gonna. I'll get to that in a minute. I was gonna say your daughters help you with all the yes. the women you date. But they um, do. seriously, they, they do. do. But your family is so amazing, and you set a great mm -hmm. example for people that get divorced and have kids because you and Demi put your family first. This is not your whole family. These are not just the two of the kids. Family. Well, somebody's missing. Who's in there? Right? Demi's not in there, I think. Is that... But I'll tell you. Look how oh, much Demi's rumor. not in there. Oh no, my no. God! I thought much... that was Demi. No, no. That's look, rumor. Isn't that funny? I swear, doesn't I thought that was Demi. Doesn't she look like Demi? She it's looks just like her. She's and Scout and Tallulah. Well, thank God they took after the mom because. No, they're really great kids, and yeah, I and I love kids. that you're all so close, and um, and they actually do. Do you run all the women uh, that you're going to date by them? By Tallulah. Tallulah gets a, gets a thumbs up and thumbs down, and it's really Tallulah's <laughs> eleven. Tallulah's eleven. Just turned eleven. Um, yeah, they kind of really, and they and they're not really subtle about it at all. Right at <laughs> right at dinner, they go, I don't think this one's going to make it. Dad. <laughs> It's, it's, they really do. Well, they, what's uh, the, yeah. Tell the story about you swimming in Tallulah, just all of a sudden asking you. <laughs> She's 11. <laughs> well, you know, can I well, Tallulah, I can't tell that story without telling this story. Tallulah's bummed out. She, and she, I hope she's not watching the show, because if I tell this story... What, get, what was the story about sw swimming? Did Asking she, me if, she, How's it going with the women? Yeah, how's it, going with the, how's it going with your love life, Dad? What's going on with the girls? And I go, Tallulah, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not dating. And they go, Dad, come on. We read the tabloids. We know what you're doing. <laughs> I said, honey, what happens in the tabloids really doesn't happen. And they go, well, we know that, but come on. You know, yeah, she does. I mean, they're right on top. They got their finger on the pulse of it. So I really do have to run the girls, run whoever I'm dating. Although it's been a, it was a dry spell right up until about 4 o'clock yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, you're not serious. And if you are, that's <laughs> horrible. No, I'm just sad. <laughs> <laughs> That was just a, a, a... That was a good movie, that was really actually. Good. All right, so let's get this, uh, this, this out of the way. So okay. you say you started reading at three. Yes, but that was only because my sister, who grew up to be a school teacher, used to like to teach me all kinds of things, and she decided to teach me how to read. Mm -hmm. And it's only because I had older brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. wasn't, I wasn't, like, a magic child. Uh -huh. Not like Brittany Murphy, who could fly, apparently. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's your words. I didn't say anything bad about Britney. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to start a feud with Britney Murphy on the show... No, I don't. But she said something bad about you, too, but whatever. <laughs> um, all right, so let's, let's see if this is the truth. You have okay. a dog. Oh, yes, the and sheriff. The sheriff is your dog's name? Yeah. I love that name, the sheriff. He's Sheriff Steve Goldberg. It, that's his full name, mm -hmm. Sheriff Steve Goldberg. Uh, so, and, and what does the dog do? The dog gets very excited, and he's a min pin, so his back legs are really strong. So min he, pin, he, yeah. miniature pincher. Yes, yeah. he spends a lot of time up on his on his uh, his back two legs, and he, he will throw his arms up in the air at like a holy roller. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's praising the Lord. Uh huh. And uh, hopefully he'll do it because he's here. He's here. And he's gonna come out. All and right. hopefully he'll do it, but he's never been on television. Let's try. All right. Where is he? Let's get my puppy handler, Jeff. Sure. But he's got to come up here. Come on. Come on. No, oh, do it. No, he's never do been it. on TV before. He doesn't right. know what to do. Sheriff. Sheriff, come here. Come uh -oh. here. Come uh -oh. here, the sheriff. Come here. Again. Oh, there, I got him. Thank, Thank you, you, Jeff. 
right. This is the chef. Hello. He didn't do his whole thing, but he's very Hello. attractive. No, he's very attractive. He deserves to be on television. Yeah, no, he certainly does. How old is the sheriff? <laughs> he's six months old. Okay. Uh -oh, he's going to get all crazy. Okay. And, oh, he, yeah, he's never been on television. No, never. He's he, very confused. Yeah. He so, wants to, he wants to praise the Lord, but he's too confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> he'd love, he'd love to praise the Lord, but he just can't. Come on, praise the Lord. <laughs> Come on. You gotta act more excited to see hey. him. Hey, oh, what's going Cheer. on? Cheer. Cheer. This might just make us look like jerks. <laughs> oh, it's too late for that now. All right. Come on! Come here! Come on! Praise the Lord! Come on! Come on! No, he just wants to leave. All right. He's very camera yeah, shy. I'm, I'm sorry, the sheriff. All right. No, you can just call him sheriff to his face. Oh, okay. <laughs> when we talk about sheriff. him, he's the sheriff. <laughs> sheriff! Oh. Hi, sheriff! See, there he goes. Hi. He's Hello. excited Hi. now. Puppy All noise. right. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh! I love that. Hey, this is my first time. I, I can't believe I'm it. I'm very excited. I want to say, first of all, you look so good. I feel, I'm feeling springy. Well, I thank you, Ellen. <laughs> no, I went, I went with the springy uh -huh. kind of look. You know, it's... It, it's uh, it's, it was raining a little bit, but yeah. I still, you know, right. I still, I was bold. Yeah. And I went with the white pants. I, no, <laughs> you're, you're right to do so. It's uh, Memorial Day. You yeah, can, you, you know, I just feel, you yeah. know, I was, I was, I was feeling sexy, mm -hmm. you know. As well you should. As well, you know. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. And then wait, because, because I got the little splash. See, now listen, the thing about sexy is it's not for, it's, it's not to show necessarily. It's just for yourself sometimes. Bam! Oh. You know? It's just for yourself sometimes. Oh. You know? Bam! Just for yourself, just to know. Just to know you Because it puts something in your eyes. Uh-huh. And now I know. Like you got a secret. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you weren't wearing the belt, would it, it, it wouldn't be the no, same. Just... Be like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so happy you're wearing the belt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you are. Oh, Thank you for being here. I am I, very happy to I'm be here. I'm a huge fan, and well, you, know, you know that. But I, you know, I, when you do research on someone who's on the show, you learn so much more about them. And I wasn't even in Vegas that day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> well, we have the film to show you. More. Um, but the, the movies that you have been in, Men in Black, um, Ali, uh, Independence Day, I Am Legend, The Pursuit of Happiness, Hitch, I, Robot, Wild Wild West, Shark Tale, B Bad Boys, and five billion dollars that that's, these, that's, that's, so you are, carry the one, yeah. take three. They didn't, they didn't You're get, a gazillionaire. They didn't, they didn't give me as much of that as they should have. But. No? <laughs> they, they should give you because, I mean, you can open a film. I think that's what this proves. You can open a film. But you know what? It, it's, um... It's something, you know, I started in the, in the music business. It's funny, I was watching you backstage uh, singing the words. Ring my bell, I Ring love my that bell. song. I don't know the words to Ring My really? Bell. Really? I was like, oh, she knows the words and I'm trying to keep up with you. I love but, like, that song. What I learned in the music business um, is there is an entire world out there that, that loves American culture, that, that, you know, we are, we take pieces of everything around the world to form America as people from everywhere, poor, tired, huddled masses from everywhere, you know? So there's, there's an American spirit that lives throughout the world. And mm -hmm. in the music, um, you know, we went to, uh, we recorded our first album in London. And we, uh, we You went, and DJ Jazzy Jeff? Jazzy Jeff, really? we recorded our, fir our first album in, 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 in London. Uh, London. And I was just blown away that people that far from home were listening to rap music. Mm -hmm. We got off an airplane with Run DMC one time in, in Tokyo. 10,000 Japanese B-boys <laughs> in the airport hold, holding up their Adidas. I was like, oh my, I was like, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And then we just, What we, year was this? Th that was uh, 88, wow. 1988. And it was just so amazing to me that, you know, a little 17 year old kid could write something in his mother's basement. Uh -huh. And 
a 17-year-old kid in, in, in Okinawa mm -hmm. is listening to it and connecting to it. And knows all those words. Right, yeah, just, phonetically, yeah, not even yeah. know what they mean. Right, exactly. You know, and just, you know, just this, this it's, story, all about Alma, but no <laughs> idea what that means. <laughs> <You know? laughs> all right, so Olsen Boy is uh, the line that's more affordable, I guess, for it, right? Yes. It's a junior's line at JCPenney, mm -hmm. and um, it's from, you know, $20 to $50, and... Oh, the fashion show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did that. Um, <laughs> so you did do that? Yes. That was yes. in Paris before, or no? No, that's... this was in New York City. Oh, okay. Yeah. And JCPenney has just been incredible partners. They, they really have let us kind of have full control of the branding and the clothes and have um, it's been an amazing collaboration. That's great yeah. that you can do, because your clothes are so cool. They're so, like, just, they're beautifully done and that, that they're affordable and at pennies now. That's really great. Yeah. Um, and your mom was very stylish growing up, right? Is that where you were sort of influenced by her? Definitely. I think, you know, that's where our big glasses came yeah, from. And definitely. The big maybe some mascara, scarves and the, the layering. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all do seem to. You hang out all all the time together. Are you uh, together as much as we think, or we just see photos? Are y'all best friends? Yeah, we're probably more than, than everyone, everyone thinks. thinks. Yeah. I know we're together every day, probably from 9 a.m. till 12 at night yeah. sometimes. But you don't later. live together. No. Yeah. no. Would no. you want to live together? Or would that that be too much? You know, we've started thinking about, about it, it again. Recently. It didn't work out the first time, but. <laughs> Maybe. Right. We, we thought our furniture would go really well together and our we did buy clothing. Yeah, matching you know. chairs, yeah. just in case. Because you would, you would have, I mean, you obviously, I know you, you say you're somewhat different, but you have, you, you kind of nod at the same time. You're, you're connected in such a way that you, you think probably and, <laughs> and, and, and think of the same thing at the same time. And when you're apart, do you have the thing that, that twins talk about where you can, you know if something's happening with her, if somebody's hurt or not, if something. I think we just you get that feeling. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't. I don't know what how to really explain it. We I definitely don't. feel it, and and also, you know, we're we're um, mirror twins, so we also kind of go like this. So one we of us is, you know, is really yeah. good. The other one's maybe not so good. It's just this kind of this balancing. Is act. that good? So you help the other person when they're down. That's yeah. better. Yeah. 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 I think so. Well, you both have really great attitudes. Just what, from what the things I've read that you've 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 written about yourselves and just the kind of things you ex explore in life and your attitudes about everything are just amazing and positive and scandal free Thank and you. that's pretty rare in this business. Thank you. Yeah. Really crazy. All right, so. So you're known for like, you know, certain things, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So I had something made for both of you. Your big bags. Exclusively at JCPenney, everyone in the audience is going home with a $100 gift card. <laughs>